Good afternoon. I had attempted to do a proper unpackaging of the Spectres of Nevermore, which is a character expansion pack for the game Nevermore. I picked this up over the weekend at Dundracon, and um, I had been waiting all weekend to open this, and I had run out of batteries in the middle of the unboxing. Entirely my fault. So I'm sure, sorry you couldn't uh, share my elation at what I had found inside this box. Uh, firstly, um, the first thing to spill out of this box were the new tokens. And you can see a picture of them in the back, right around there. You know, they, they look like your standard tokens. I was expecting a, a punch board with uh, cardboard chits that you punch out. And to my surprise, when I had opened the box and they spilled out, they made this sound. That sounded very loud and chunky to me. And to my elation, we have these really nice metal coins to use in the game. These are beautiful. These are gorgeous. They're, they're hefty. They're metal. They could probably withstand a lot of uh, abuse. The illustrations on it are gorgeous. They almost look uh, foil, like foil, shiny stuff. These are gorgeous. These are really, really nice. So I'm, v I'm very pleased with this. <clears throat> There's a ton of character cards in this expansion. All of these characters are based after, um, I mean, all of these cards are based after characters from the stories and poems of Edgar Allan, po Edgar Allan Poe, each of which have unique abilities as a human form and as a raven form. When I did the proper video, I read through all of these, um, or I read through most of them not realizing how many characters are in here, so we're just going to go through them, I'm not going to read the abilities or anything. So we've got Hop Frog. The murderous, vengeful dwarf caught gesture who ended up having the last laugh as the king and, and his nobles burned. Dupin. A gentleman of great intellect and insight who solves crimes by putting himself into the mind of the criminal, appearing to be able to read the killer's thoughts. Ligeia. Ligeia. I'm not sure I've had it pronounced both ways. I like to say Ligeia. Forbidden wisdom and force of her will brought her back from the dead into the body of another. Imp the Perverse, a demon of psychic, a demon of psyche who takes great pleasure in driving us to commit acts against our own self-interests. Professor Fifa, when the insane take over the asylum, the staff find they are the new patients and must endure the treatments of rather unhinged new caretakers. Tamerlane, a Turkic conqueror who, who chose glory and power over love and died with a broken heart. Dr. Tar, looks a bit like uh, Dr. Horrible. Well, actually, Dr. Horrible looks like him, I guess. A madman's vision of a doctor with a horrific new treatment plan for the newly committed. Usher. The man, his sister, and the house of Usher itself, all in a, all in sickly ruin. But it's her, but it is her return after he buries her alive, that signals their final horrific end. It's quite a dramatic picture, isn't it? Valdemar, having died under hypnosis and kept in a trance for seven months after. The attempt to waken him caused the body to rot into loathsome, detestable put putrescence. Telltale Heart A man driven to madness by the unrelenting breathing of his victim's heart hidden within the rest of him beneath the floor. The Red Death A horrific plague manifested as an uninvited guest, Prince Prospero's Masquerade. At Prince Prospero's Masquerade. Sorry, I'm going through this too quickly. Lenore. A love lost. The queenliest dead that after died so young. That's the final one. All right. So I'll try to a quick read through. through
through uh, an overview of the instructions here. Or just the, the opening, whatever you want to call that. Summon the never were. The lure of untold mystic power consumes you. Delving ever deeper into your fascination of Plutonian shores, you have summoned into service the eerie and powerful specters of Poe, of Poe's gothic horror characters. Armed with the powers of the never were, you intend to reign supreme forevermore. Excellent. As I said before, I've been waiting all weekend to open this up. Um, this is, as far as I know, this has been out for a while, and I have never seen it physically, which is why I snatched it up. The vendor I um, purchased this from, um, when I went last year for the first time, he was there also. Everything on his table, he was selling it uh, almost 75% off. So this was a beautiful thing to find, and I played, paid a nice price for it. Um, cards are nice and big. The font is big also, so it's easy to read. These are characters to play along with the drafting game of Nevermore. And uh, again... I am super impressed by these components. They're, they're metal, they're very thick, they're, they've got some heft to them. This isn't like cheap tin or anything like that that you could just bend between your fingers. The artwork on it is uh, almost looks like it's got some kind of foil underneath it or something. It's got a nice gleam. So these, these are beautiful. I, um, I haven't played it yet with the base game, but I highly recommend this just for the components alone. It's, this is a Beautiful, beautiful expansion. And I just dropped a coin. Excellent. One last time, this is the Spectre's character pack for the game, the base game of Nevermore by Smirk and Dagger Games.